the secrets they don't want you to know. How to decalcify your pituitary gland and pineal gland. Our third eye. The pituitary gland, or hypophysis, is an endocrine gland about the size of a pea, located in the human brain. The pineal gland, also known as our third eye, is a small endocrine gland located in the center of the brain and resembles a tiny pine cone, hence its name. It contains rods, cones, and water, just like that of an eye, and leads us to wonder exactly what is it that it's seeing or trying to see. So from an overall health and spiritual point of view, this being our third eye, we want it functioning properly at its full capacity. It's important to understand that the pineal gland and pituitary gland work together to create the third eye phenomenon. One positive charge, one negative charge. The pineal gland produces melatonin, a hormone that affects the modulation of your wake sleep patterns and seasonal functions in the body. Melatonin has various functions in the central nervous system. The brain and spinal cord make up the central nervous system in the body. The pituitary gland and our pineal gland control our endocrine system. The endocrine system is a collection of glands that produce hormones that regulate metabolism, growth and development, tissue function, sexual function, reproduction, sleep and mood, among other things. Which is why our third eye is being attacked daily by chemicals in the air, in our drinking water, vegetables, fruits, toothpaste, mouthwash, soft drinks, and GMO foods. Even if the food is organic, it is being watered with fluoridated contaminated water. Fluoride is a halide and is part of a family of chemicals. These chemicals and frequency blockers are identified as sodium fluoride in our water, together with aluminum and mercury in vaccines, daily spraying in our atmosphere with barium, which becomes radioactive, vaporized aluminum, which is proven to be a frequency blocker, radiation, fluorine, chlorine, pesticides, bromine, bromide chemicals, air pollution, and other various household products, which are all mimickers of iodine or frequency blockers that affect their bodies from evolving to higher states of health and consciousness. In combination with common core curriculum are indeed dumbing down the human species. Toxic fluoride. Fluoride is added to our drinking water in various countries and cities, such as Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, and especially in the North and South Americas. It is a neurotoxin industrial byproduct and waste product that is toxic to the human body. Depending on what weight and size, the average human is around 70% water. Just imagine how much better our bodies would function with pure water that is toxic free. I believe in many others that this is used to dumb down the majority of the masses and keeps us from reaching our highest potential as humans. These chemicals cause calcification within the pineal gland, which can be seen on x-rays and ultrasound scans. Depending on the individual, some x-ray images show the pineal gland covered with deposits and is hardened because it is calcified. Obviously, this is causing damage to our third eye, the pineal gland, and needs to be removed in order to get it functioning properly again. What are calcification deposits and how to get rid of them? Calcification is the accumulation of calcium salts in a body tissue. It normally occurs in the formation of bone, but calcium can be deposited abnormally in soft tissue, causing it to harden. Iodine deficiency. Healthy levels of iodine help detoxify the body of these toxic halide mimickers. In addition to purging the body of heavy metals such as mercury, lead, cadmium, and aluminum, along with a proper diet, assist our cells in the uptake of proper nutrients and minerals. Iodine is used by every organ and tissue in the body. It is absolutely necessary for healthy cognitive abilities, thyroid as well as healthy ovaries, breast and prostate. These are just a few of the reasons to become interested in iodine. Iodine also protects the body from radiation frequencies 
thanks to the new cell tower grid system, which communicates with all of our Wi-Fi electronics, like cell phones, laptops, iPads, game consoles, and smart meters. Belgium in 2016 issued iodine pills to all of its citizens in a nuclear emergency plan. Iodine should be taken as a daily supplement, which is lacking from all of our diets, and executed deliberately as it was taken out of our food supply in 1946 after World War II and replaced with bromine. During this period is also when they implemented fluoride in our water supplies. Our bodies need many substances for health, and none do more for us than iodine. Traditionally sourced from the sea, iodine is required by the body for a number of functions. Iodine is also instrumental in brain development, with an inadequate amount actually leading to the most avoidable form of mental retardation known as iodine deficiency related retardation. Iodine plays a huge role in decalcification and raising your awareness and consciousness. It's alchemy of the body. You could get a high quality bottle of iodine at maggiesholisticsny.com. I do use it and it does work great. Or you could pick some up at a health store near you. Sunshine. Sunshine, or UV light, really helps to regulate melatonin levels and activate the pineal gland. This also helps you with energy and vitamin D and feeling better about yourself overall. Notice how people are in a much better mood when it is sunny outside. Sun gazing during the right times of the day, in the morning when the sun rises, and later when the sun sets, can also help activate the pineal gland. The regular water filters you buy in a store does not take the fluoride out of your water. The best thing you could do to eliminate fluoride from your water is to buy bottled water, but make sure you read the ingredients to make sure there is no fluoride added. You could also buy a reverse osmosis water filter or water distillation for your home. I believe they also have these machines in most supermarkets that you could use. Choosing to buy organic products will also increase your chances of avoiding these toxic chemicals. What they don't want you to know. Salt is a conductor of electricity. Calcification is causing accumulation of calcium salts in the pineal gland. So in theory, this could possibly be a way of controlling our subconscious mind, or as we already know, is blocking the usage of our third eye making us third eye blind. It could be explained by the fact that when you put salt into water, salt molecules divide themselves into eons. As they carry an electrical charge, they are put into motion by the electrical field created by the generator, a battery for example. Thus a current can flow in salted water and it is proven that salted water conducts electricity. It's the same thing in metals for electrons which carry a negative charge. The more salt you put into water, the better it conducts electricity. Activating our pineal gland. The human pineal gland, or third eye, can be activated to the spiritual world frequencies and enables you to have the sense of your all-knowing, godlike euphoria, or your higher self, and oneness all around you. Our pineal gland once turned into its proper frequencies with the help of meditation, yoga, plenty of sunshine, and various other esoteric methods enables a person to travel into other dimensions known as astral travel or astral projection or remote viewing. The pine cone in ancient cultures. The pineal gland is depicted as a pine cone in ancient sculptures and in art.
These ancient societies knew the benefits and exemplified this in their vast symbologies with a symbol of an eye. or a marking on their forehead. We also see this eye in the back of the American $1 bill. I believe that if you take away the seed of the soul, this disconnects our oneness with God and the power of our source. The pineal gland, or the seed of the soul, is where higher consciousness can be developed. This means that by detoxification and decalcification of the body will make us reach our consciousness to a higher level to perceive other dimensions. It is not too late to change your lifestyle, the way you eat, the way you take care of yourself, for you to be able to detoxify and decalcify your pineal gland. The present situation we find ourselves in demands that we quickly re-engineer not only mainstream allopathic medicine, but all branches and all alternatives. Remember, knowledge is power, and applied knowledge is freedom.